Hey folks, I'm back again. This is, I'm gonna do the second sign. Uh, this is a sign for my, my daughter's, daughter and son-in-law's house. Uh, but I uh, was told a great idea to try to do the V-carve first. So this way all the clearance tools afterwards may remove a lot of those fuzzies that are left by the V-carve bit at the end, you know, by the V bit. And that guy was, uh, this boy, this guy right here, Joe, Joe DeLora on, uh, YouTube. He commented on my last video and suggested, try doing the V-carve last. And I didn't know how, and he pointed out that in V-carve Pro, you can change the order of the toolpaths, uh, in the, you know, before you save the toolpaths, you can, you can save the order of them with these little blue arrows that go up and down maybe I should have shown you that too but anyway I have this all zeroed out and I got my V bit loaded I'm sure it's going to ask me to load the V bit and my spindles on auto mode let's see there it goes it's asking me for the there it is see that it's asking me for that bit first pretty cool and I'll just hit the cycle start and there she goes off to the back I want to go to the tool setter back there. I put a microphone on my GoPro. I don't know how well you guys can hear me or not. Then again, some people might not want to hear me at all, which I can understand that. And I'm interested to see what this is going to do. There she goes. that uh, V carve I have to say I think already it looks like there's less fuzzies than before we well, you know, when I did the V carve last and right now it's asking for the number 14 quarter inch O flute and so okay I'll get that chucked up and I'll be right back okay I got the uh, quarter inch O flute chucked up there in the collet that's the tool it's asking for I'll hit the start cycle it's gonna do the usual go back to my tool setter which again I don't know if I should move the tool setter keep it where it is I don't know I, I, I'm just lazy I end up just keeping it where it is because I'm just lazy but we'll see there we go there it comes okay I'll get you going on the time lapse if this starts right. There it goes.
extremely well. I mean, I can't believe how much the fuzzies have been taken away. I mean, look at the, the edges along here, even around the border. I mean, the border, especially around the edges of the, all the letters, was loaded with fuzzies the last time. Now there's like hardly anything. I got rid of uh, doing the V car first. Definitely got rid of what 98 percent maybe 95 between 95 and 100 percent of the fuzzies it's crazy but anyway okay now it's asking i believe for the one eighth flute so i'm going to uh one eighth zero flute i'll put that in next okay i got the one eighth uh o flute loaded in there and it's that's what it's asking for so here we go cycle start and off she goes That stupid clamp. Uh, I hate clamps. I hate them. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? Go touchdown, and she's coming up here now. chuck up and that's the 1 16th O flute and then it'll be done yeah it could be it could be done the way it is now it looks pretty damn good but I'll just go ahead and let it do what it what I've been telling it to do and let's see what happens all right all right got my 1 16th O flute loaded and that's the tool it's asking for right there hey, you can see my wacky looking microphone on this thing here but yeah, there it is. Uh, cycle start, off it goes. There she goes. There. Way over there. And there she comes.
bad. Yeah. There's some fuzzies here and there, but you know, it's nowhere near like it was on that last one. My God, I think a little brushing will clear this right up and there'll be nothing on this. It'll be clean as a whistle. Okay, it's asking for the 1 8 O flute for the final profile cut and I'm gonna, I'll chuck that up and I'll be right back. All right, there's my 1 8 inch flute loaded in there, uh, zero flute or O flute, whatever you want to call it. And there it is asking for the 1 8 O flute. Cycle start. There she goes. All right. down over there and here she comes and off, off to the races to the last one I'm gonna see if I can put a uh, comparison up in the top here like I'll put a little bit of the last video in this I'll put it up in the top corner maybe top left corner or so. I don't know I'll do something to show you the last video and how much uh, fuzzies were left after this you know at this point because this is unbelievably better my god Wow Thanks for the suggestion, buddy. This is amazing. Saving me a whole lot of time here. Wow. Okay. I'll be right back. Uh, I will clean this up and I'll show you the final results in a minute. Okay. I haven't, uh, I'd, all I did was cut it out and I cleaned the edges. And of course I dropped it on the floor and made that little nick. But, you know, of course I can't do anything. I can't be perfect. It's impossible for me. But, um. Now, so, so you can see the fuzzies here. This is it. I haven't touched this at all with a brush or anything. I even knew <laughs> there's still stuff I gotta blow off the extra dust. But um, you can see there are some fuzzies, but come on. Compared to that last one, this is amazing. The only part where uh, doing the V car first didn't help is in these. Uh, scales and stuff that's because the clearance tool doesn't even touch those things but uh as far as everything else like all around this border holy cow it's like unbelievably clean in comparison like if you just i'll show you the last one and holy cow the difference is unreal so uh yeah v car first then do your clearance path that's the way i'm doing this from now on okay i'm gonna brush this up and i'll show you the final results in a bit Okay, bye. All right. There's the second sign done now. You can see I cleaned it up. It was a lot easier to clean up than that last one. I did leave some fuzzies inside the scales there, you know, on the jacket. It's tiny little spots. I don't care about that. Uh, this is going to be outside in the rain and the snow and the hail and the sleet and everything. So I'm thinking maybe the rain and stuff is going to take care of a lot of those fuzzies. Anyway, that was it for this. This uh, I ran the same uh, feeds and speeds as the last video. If you want to look for that, you can see on there. And this was a climb cut, by the way, not conventional. Uh, somebody told me to try climb cut, so I figured I'll try it. And honestly, I don't think it made much of a difference. Uh, I did climb cut on the last one too. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video, but that was also climb cut and it seemed about the same as far as you know everything else goes but doing the v path the v carve first was definitely the trick to eliminating 
at least 90% of the fuzzies that are left over that you have to clear up. So uh, if you're doing this, try doing the V car first. It, I'm telling you, it was really great. Thank you and take care guys. If you want to, if you can, please like this video and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, take care and have a good day. Yeah.